there's a teacher down in Los Angeles who wrote a, a best-selling book, Teach Like Your Hair's on Fire, Rafe Esquith, that's who it is. He was a teacher of, I think, he was second grade or fourth grade? Probably fourth grade. I don't remember exactly. Anyway, he taught for, for decades. He became very conversant in, in what he could do. But he taught like Shakespeare to second graders. And it's really interesting because the situation he was in, he was able to do some amazing stuff. However, even he, in his book, said, you can't reach everybody. Hmm. Now, you can't reach everybody because they're just assigned to his class. And, and so he does the best he can. But even he, who's a genius level mm -hmm. teacher. If you don't and, want to learn Shakespeare, you yeah, don't want to learn you Shakespeare, make you know, you can't, yeah. yeah. Speaking to, mm -hmm. specifically to your integrity point, he had integrity because he was able to develop the integrity of knowing mm -hmm. how the system works so thoroughly so he knew what he could do. Like if he says, you know, like, I love this, I'm good at teaching it. If you're not interested, that's fine. But, you know, right, we've right. got to do this. Then you're being straightforward with them. Your point about integrity is correct, but you have to understand integrity in terms of both personal and organizational alignment. So yeah. Rafe was able to align himself with the system and do yeah. a great job. But even yeah. he said, I can't reach everybody. And that's an organizational problem. That's not his problem. Mm. He didn't create it. Everyone agrees, no matter who, in terms of education, that high expectations are a good thing right. if you use fear to induce your high expectations and lies and so on like that it will go wrong right. <laughs> this is the agentic schools podcast where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills i'm your host don berg <laughs>